Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Andrew here. This is going to be my completed pages for July. I am trying a different way of filming. I'm trying to film on an easel so that the camera's actually pointed almost directly at it rather than down, just to see how it goes. Let me know how what you think. I have to get the camera angle slightly better than this. It's not the best one, but it'll do for today. Um, but yeah, completed pages. So this is a bit late because I've been ill with a chest infection. So I did do one in the Sally Berry 300 mandalas and this was done using those lovely big intensity markers that I got from Lidl's. I bought about four or five packs of them because I just really like how vibrant they are. Uh, so yeah, I mean I did do that one on the first because again I start numbering them, um, dating them and then I don't finish dating it because I'm an idiot. I did quite a lot in 100 Best uh, by at Sun Life Drawing because uh, I took this book on holiday with me and I did this one of the, I think it's a bear and the animals and I did uh, this one of the birds in the tree house. This was all done with the, the touch new markers, the new set I got from TikTok shop because we took them with us and I did the balloons. Now I must admit I like doing this, the, this book. Um, I'm not so keen on these pixely ones. They are all right, uh, but it's not a bad picture. I, you know, I like I, what I like about it is trying to figure out what the pictures of. Um, but again, that was done while I was on holiday. Um, so I did one in 100 Easy Mandalas Color by Number by Satch and Satch Deva. I know that there is a light shining on the cover, but it's not really affecting the page. And I did this one. This was a nice one to do, nice and simple again. Now I'm back to using various markers, um, not just the touch markers. I'm using my big pot. I will do a, a short on those big pot of pens at some point. I might even do it tonight, so you might even get to see it before you see this. Who knows? So I did that one. I did one in Ceramic Tile Desserts, colour by number by Prachi Duan, such a diva. I like this one, this is the donut. Again, this has been done with various markers from my pot. And I'm quite happy with it. I haven't used that many of those pens because of course I took the new markers on holiday. I also did one in the Pretty Flowers Ceramic Tile, colour by number by Prachi Duan, such a diva. Um, and it's the rose which I really like roses, so I enjoyed doing that. Let's take that piece of paper. And again, various markers, touch markers, the pot markers, bold me, it's whatever I can, I find, I'm just using them up now. Uh, Dinosaur Colour by Number Jade Summer. I think this book is so cute. I like doing the ones in this book. And I did... Uh, this one, the little fish looking scared. Again, this is various markers from my pot, Spinosaurus. And I think it just looks, it's so cute. The little fish is, that looks absolutely terrifying. <laughs> okay, I'm just I did one in the Jade Summer Colour by Number Patterns. I haven't done one here in a long time because obviously I've got four Jade Summer on the books I'm trying to work on. I thought I'll do one in this one and this one I quite like and there are some white bits down here because they've got no numbers on them so I've just left it white um, but yeah this was done with the uh, Tesco felt tips that I've bought um, I do like using them they're good for this this sort of thing perfect lots of different colors lots of different shades uh, it looks quite pretty on to a space by Hannah Carlson this is one of her children's books now I this is a color your hoard one because I hadn't touched this one I literally just did this front page this book belongs to and this has been done with various water-based markers so it doesn't go through um, and I think the ones I got from home bargains or b &M bargains or anyway they're very nice nice little pens yeah, so various water-based water pens. I did one in the Crayola Bumper Fun colouring book just because I bought this one because I wanted something nice and simple. Of course, all the companies are now bringing out really simple books like um, 
the oh gosh what's it called I can't think like the Coco Wire ones and Jade Summer have been doing it as well but I did I love you very much and the little crayon at the bottom says I love blue very much so I did it blue but I didn't colour in the crayon I'm going to leave the crayons as they are and just do the pictures but again this was done using the touch markers I think yeah touch markers it's such a cute little bear such a sweet little book that um, I did one in Whimsical Worlds by Ava Brown. Again, this is another one for Colour Your Hoard because it's um, one I have had for a while. I haven't coloured in it. And I just did the the Bunny and the Duck in the Duck Bloom. Again, this was done with various markers. We've got some gold metallics on there. They're big metallics. Thought that was nice. And just various pens out of my pot again, which is huge and there's a lot of pens in it so and now I'm only using the touch markers as and when um, I need to so for instance if I wanted to use purple there's no real purples left in my pots because they've all gone um, Colour Your Hoard although it's a new hoard is The Big Book of Mermaids by uh, Deborah Muller this is a new book I haven't hauled it yet but I had to colour in it and I just did this one with the octopus Again, this is various markers from my box and the touch markers. It's really cute. No glitter. Couldn't be bothered with glitter on this one. I forgot to take the glitter pens on holiday and I did it on holiday, so it is mostly touch markers. Um, but yeah, it's really cute. I like this book. There's some lovely pictures in it. Another new book, Spooky Cute. Coco Wyo. This is the one I got. Decided on. I want them all. They're really cute. And I did this one. Death is holding the cat. The cat's died. The dog looks really sad. And again, this is done with various markers from my mixed pot. Basically, just to get rid of them. I don't know if you can hear the fan. I'm sorry if you can, but it's very, very muggy in the UK at the moment, even though the weather's uh, not that nice. Now we're on to the books that I'm trying to either work on and get through or complete. Not many of those this month again, but I did do one in Chibi Girls by April Amber. This is Chibi Girls 2. And I did the little ballerina. And again, this is various markers from various pots. A bit of metallic up there. This is the, um, I believe that's the gold from the, uh, co uh, what they call, Karma of Chaos. Constellation, I really like those golds. Might not be, might be a gold from another set, but I think that's the one it is. Uh, it didn't take very long, but I'm enjoying colouring in this book. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do this month, but I will, I'm sure. Uh, that one. And I did one in the 50 Easy Magdalas by Jade Summer. I'm not going to finish this book, but I am getting towards it. This has been done with a metallic gel pens that I got from Lidl's. I haven't hauled them yet. You will see them at the end of the month when I do my colouring haul and supplies haul. This is not a lot of supplies. It's literally just them. I um, haven't bought anything else. I don't really need any supplies. But yeah, I enjoyed doing that, using up the different metallics to have a look at them. They're not so bad. Then I've got Hawaii Colour by Number, Colour Questopia. This one I should finish this year if I do a page every month. I will literally finish it in December with all the extra pages as well. And I did this one. Again, this is using the various pot of markers that I've got. For the silver, this time I used a bit, a bit metallic rather than um, a glitter gel pen, just to see, and I think I prefer it. Um, I certainly do like it. This was fun to do and it didn't take as long. So, yeah, it's not the best one I've ever done, but I, I, you know, I do like this book. I'm just not one for going around the edges all the time, so, uh. And then we've got 50 Easy Patterns uh, by Jade Summer. Did another one in here. This was using the Bic Intensity markers that I've got. Again, I was just trying them out when I, I did this. They're really, really, really nice markers, to be honest. Um, I've got a set in my reading journal bag. 
and I've got a set that I'm using and I've still got two or three sets spare that I'm keeping for whatever because I like these pens they are really really nice and whoops I've got a bit sticking to me now the last one is from Stefania Miro's Easy Flower Mandalas this was one of the very first books I've got and I will be finishing it very soon I'm not sure how many I've got left is it one or two it's literally that close up oh, one left so this one will be finished this month in August it's, it is actually nice to finish books although it's also really sad because then you can't colour them again unless you rebuy them let me just find the one I did and I did this one and this is sort of like um, with the bright pastel set from the, the gel pens that I got from Lidl's the ones I haven't hauled yet um, didn't take long I just wanted to use the different colours because I'm always using the glitter pens I never use the metallics I never use the neons or the, the brights so I thought I'm gonna I'm gonna do that do one of those in the bright so at the end of August you'll be seeing the last page uh, that I've done so in September and in September we will be doing a flip through of this book because it will be completed this month so those are the pages that I completed in July um, not a huge amount but, but a few so I hope you've been, uh, enjoyed this video I, I, I mean there's some really nice ones coming next month because I had some whips to finish that I finished off already this month really really nice ones so I look forward to seeing you in at the end of the month for another one of these wrap ups and a haul video there will be more videos to come obviously it's difficult at the moment because Jennifer is off of school so I'm trying to keep her entertained as well it's not the easiest it's just simply because finding stuff for her to do and I can't film very much I'm filming at the moment because she's watching TV and, and she's fine um, but yeah that's it I hope you enjoyed this little video and I will see you again very very soon bye guys